Well, I'm about to go a little bit old school here today, guys. This is a video response for Ben Davidson over at Suspicious Observers. And so anybody who watches my videos and also watches Ben's videos, I would really appreciate it if you could bring this video response to Ben's attention because it seems that Ben somehow missed my reply to him on the video that he uploaded on the 25th of February 2024 in which he claims that this research paper about a geomagnetic crochet event that happened on the 3rd of July 2021 is somehow connected to the two X flares that happened on the 22nd of February 2024 and that he claims is responsible for the sporadic cell phone outages that occurred in the US hours later and so I just wanted to ask Ben if he had any evidence that shows that those two X flares on the 22nd of February 2024 were geomagnetic crochet events because if we have a look at some of this information provided to us by the Bureau of Meteorology, Australia's Space Weather Forecasting Centre, so this is basically Australia's version of NOAA, they explain that magnetic crochet events are quite rare. And they also say that the locations that experience impacts from these magnetic crochet events are close to the subsolar point and the subsolar point is the point on earth when the sun is overhead so i'm not really understanding ben if the sun was overhead the asia pacific how the u.s could be impacted hours later when they were on the nighttime side of the planet and if it was a geomagnetic crochet event that happened on the 22nd of February, then you would obviously have some data that you could provide evidence for this. Because as we can see in the data provided on this website by the Bureau of Meteorology, they show that in the deabsorption layer of the ionosphere, this is where the magnetic crochet event occurs. And you can see there's a little hook here, which is why they call it a crochet event. And so this data is easily visible. It is available at the time of the event. And so if these two X flares that occurred on the 22nd of February caused a geomagnetic crochet event then of course you would have evidence for this that you would have no problem with providing for all of us and in fact if you're going to provide this information I suggest you contact Dr Tony Phelps over at spaceweather.com now you know as well as I do Ben that Dr Tony Phelps is an ex-NASA astrophysicist and he would be very very interested in this evidence that you have that those two X flares were very rare geomagnetic crochet events because I'm sure he would love to report on this on his website and so far I cannot find that he has reported on this anywhere. In fact I find it interesting that when I actually look at this research paper that you provided it was published the day after those two X flares occurred on the 22nd of February. This paper was published on the 23rd of February. So I would think that these researchers would actually make mention of these very rare geomagnetic crochet events if they happened on the 22nd of February. Even if they couldn't do deep research into them, the data is very visible and so they would have at least mentioned that those two X-ray all those two X flares were geomagnetic crochet events and yet there's no mention of them in this paper. They are talking about a solar flare that happened on the 3rd of July in 2021. They literally say that the impacts are only felt on the sunlit side of the hemisphere. Again, Ben, the US was on the nighttime side of the planet and it impacted uh, hours later when these cell phone outages occurred, if they were actually connected, then how does a solar flare that happens on the sunlit part of the hemisphere, which was over the 
Asia Pacific impact the nighttime side of the planet hours later. So if you could explain that, I would really, really appreciate that. And of course, being a researcher, you would provide evidence for this. And I'm also interested in how it could affect ultra high frequency devices like cell phones and computers, because the paper says that it only has consequences for SWF. And that is shortwave frequency devices, such as two-way radios, CBs, and some navigation equipment. So again, Ben, I really don't understand how these flares could actually impact ultra-high frequency devices on the nighttime side of the planet hours after the flare occurred. And if the, these flares were actually geomagnetic crochet events, which is what you said in that video, and you said that you tried to explain it to us in simplistic terms, well, Ben, you know, we are not as smart as you. You are the YouTube genius. So please do explain for us how you have evidence that those two X flares that occurred on the 22nd of February 2024 were geomagnetic crochet events. You must have evidence for this because as I showed, uh, it's very visible in the data. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you could educate us very simplistic, um, simple minded researchers here that just don't have your intelligence and we're just not space weather geniuses like you are, we would appreciate that very, very much. So I'll leave it here. And as always, peace out.